Okay. 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 Okay.
have you in my city. So we have like, we talk about the history angle of all of these places, and then we get into the hauntings. And sometimes we dispel the urban legend, you know? It's like playing a house show. You can tell a story over some years, and it's totally changing. Yeah, it changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, right? It's like this whole too. Yeah. So we sit down on each other Saturday night. And, uh, we have a few bevies, and uh, <laughs> we're like sailors. We're part of it. Yeah, because yeah. 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 it's just us. So we sit there and it's just banter. Sometimes we're down to lunch. Sometimes we're going to lunch. That's only a problem to whoever has to do the editing. <laughs> <laughs> I do the art, she does the editing. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It's all, it's all fun. It's all good luck. We call it the ghost love, right? Yeah. So it's just yeah. getting more fun. How long have you been at it? 37 weeks. Consistently. Yeah. Uh, when it's so yeah. We're late once. We've been late a few times. It's usually by a day or two, but every week there's an episode that goes out. Um, and that's why I call ourselves the first and only paranormal podcast because there's been a few other people that have tried. We'll have two episodes back in 2016. Like, well, they're not really doing it. Right? You know, there's so much information. There's so much history in one of the things, too. I don't know how you well, can. Well, I'm just around here. Yeah. yeah. But I think those people are just using. Yeah, to promote their psychic abilities. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So you don't have psychic abilities? <laughs> no, I have, have no psychic abilities. abilities. Psycho. Um, I think that's a little intuitive. I did have an interview for a Halloween special. Um, actually, we we have a we tried something new about six episodes ago, and it was a lot of fun, and a lot of people liked it, and it was called, uh, Her Adventure, and Get the Fuck Out of My House. And it was just telling their ghost stories about their homes and being haunted, right? And, yeah. and we have another one, a bigger one, coming up for Halloween, and we'll do the second edition of Get the Fuck Out of My House, and those stories are really interesting. And uh, when I was sitting and interviewing the one girl the other day, I literally, and she told me that her place of work is haunted. Right? And then we talked about her house. Like, I didn't know who her store was. No. And we were talking, I was there for the house. And I was sitting there. I had my other, I have a, these, these other beautiful ghost shirts she made for us with the deco on the back, like more of a ghost shirt. So I wore it out. And then a little later, I could feel something. And so, yeah, Residencia is basically a podcast. Like, it wanted to take a better look at the shirt. And I'm like, I'm on the phone with her. Pose or call, I'm like, you're just like, you can just touch me. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, it's like it wanted a better look at my shirt. I said, I think my shirt is too loud. And that's not the fact that I heard this. I think, I don't think it was too loud. Is uh, this one of those the beverage you do shows? Or? Straight afterwards, so far as I know. Yeah, so far as I know. So far as I know. But I mean, like, so, I, I feel I'm intuitive. I have been. We both have had, like, really weird things happen. Uh, I'm writing a book called The Story of Me because there's just so many. I catalog them. I'm like, oh, I guess I got put in a book. Yeah. But we're not, we're not saying it's not me. You know, we don't I, have any on the show. But okay, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't go into this and, like, you know, like, I generally think most of these things are, like, well, you know what, we were, we were, we were an interesting team. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, like, but we actually, when I was a kid, owned a haunted house. And we were going to move into it, and it was so fucking weird that we were like, we moved our shit in and within a week moved our shit. Wow, out. really? That's and, serious. And rented, rented the house out. <laughs> to the other people. You people deal with well, them. No, yeah. then, then, then the, then the, the current end is up renting it out to these Ethiopian students who were also soccer players. Oh, yeah. And they had a... Well, they can run, so that's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they had, like, a laundry list of stories of, yeah, like, of things, uh, things that had happened. Yeah, and you know? I people don't make questions on those. Like, like, on Jubilee. Something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then the, 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 the house saw the house to some friends of ours, the house remained to be haunted for them, and, but they didn't have any problems with the girls, or like, the, the, the students did, because they would be kicking the soccer ball around the house, but like, they were both upset, yeah. so they wound up a lot of like broken dishes in the middle of the night, and soccer balls hidden, and and rafters and right. shit like this. And a crusty old lady. That's what it sounds like. How many times have I told uh, you? Yeah, kids. The fact that it trans- yeah. the only reason I would consider any, like, because I knew how I felt in the house. Right, you sure. You know, but the fact that there were three different sets of people in the house who all confirmed yes. you know, yeah. that yeah. having the yeah. 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 house. Yeah, that's your name, Jason? Yeah. Hi, Jason. 
We're talking to the two bake girls right now. I was like, yeah, this is totally real. Really? Whereabouts was it? It was right on, um, yeah, it's on Yale. Oh, yeah. So it was just like this tiny, it looked like a little witch house. Yeah, yeah. And then it was a little funny little dog. Yeah, I ended up having to get like a dog because our rooms were in the basement. So every night we'd hear the footsteps, whatever. So I had to get a dog to like make, yeah. And then the dog sit there and stare and look down the stairs and then you out even more? Oh, there was a lot, yeah. And then my this guy moved in and started recording stuff off his laptop oh, at night and then like stuff got really uncomfortable and it was like one of those things where I was like just talk to them so they're like sorry we're here you know we're just living yeah, yeah well, like kind of got, got to build that relationship yeah kind of got to let them know it's cool yeah like, like I don't if mess comfortable, with, if you're comfortable yeah, with yeah you know I'm like I know you disturb it yeah like <laughs> You do you. <laughs> like we always say on our that's right. We always say on our show like energy is energy. It just comes back. So I mean, if yeah. somebody's coming back to a good place or just what they know, yeah, and, and they're really they're still people. They're just dead people, right? So yeah. gotta have that respect level. That's why we don't we don't uh, yeah, yeah. we don't we don't like that you know that shtick on the ghost on the show. Show yourself. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. yeah. On, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's fun though. Yeah, it's fun. We just do. We we talk about local Winnipeg paranormal. Like, if you want to come on and share the story, we'd love to have you. Man, I work too in St. Boniface, so oh, it's one of the oldest bars. Yeah, so it's been the same owner for like 50 years. Oh yeah, like all that. the stories there. Right? Oh man, yeah. but the, okay, his but like, son. Yeah. Like, the fourth now. Yeah. I worked there when it was called Eddie's Garage. Or no, oh. sorry, that's not Eddie's Garage. I worked there when it was called Pockets. Okay. Pockets Barn Grill. Okay. Oh. And that was like in my early 20s. Yeah, yeah. And it was like one of the first buildings on McDermott. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. And it was like all the printing here. And like yeah. the elevator shaft was our like beer, like our oh, storage oh. room. Oh. And like there was a woman that died in there. Well, that, that was the so in the elevator that was, shop. That was, was the Soto's. Yeah. Up, that was the Soto's in the eighties. Yeah, that happened in there. and she's like, the one that lost it. Yeah, I hated working upstairs. And, and it's missing. That. That's right. We're trying to, do, like, We're trying to capture this. Right? Yeah. Because it's going. Yeah. People yeah. aren't remembering this. Yeah, like limes would roll off the bar and disappear. I would never find them. Really? Oh, it was like yeah. there was yeah. creepy yeah. stuff. Yeah. But yeah, she yeah. she dropped it. Well, we just we were interviewing. Oh, we did. Yeah, this week. Uh, yeah. I can't name the business, but um, the fail. yeah, she the worked she worked in that parents. building too. I don't know. Uh, the girl got killed yeah. because she was a dancer, and it dropped from the fifth floor to the basement in the twenties. Yeah. And she got killed. So yeah. that's what that. Um, well, I had an interview. We, she did the phone interview. Uh, yeah. It was a lady that has a local Winnipeg business. We interviewed her because she lives in Transcona. Her house is haunted. Maybe it's just fucking haunted. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> is, it on, is it on Yale? Like, no, 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 no. Actually, she's on the same street as me. We're like talking. It's so funny. She's on yeah. the west. And I'm on the east. She's yeah. like, no way. You live in... I'm like, yes. Can you hear me? 